Hi guys, this is lesson number 15 from our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about blend tool. We will be learning how to make straight blend. You can see between two objects, we have blend from the left side, the star and the right is the real object. And in between we have blend. If I will click inside, you can see that we have a color spectrum, different color we have and uh, multiple object we have in this blend. So this is called straight blend. And here we have another type of blend. We made border. You can see that there is a page border here with this small star flower. This star we took from the character that is predefined character inside Coral Draw. I'm going to show you how to get that. And uh, here we have a loop blend. Okay, so we are going to blend uh, with three ways our object. In our coming lesson, we will be learning more about blend. But for now, we are going to do this thing. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, we are going to make the straight blend. We are going to draw a star shape. As you can see that here we have polygon tool in your computer in Coral Draw. The polygon tool, it is the first tool. So you might see this. Once you will click it, click and hold and the second tool is the star. Okay, you can click on star and simply we can draw a star shape here. You can press control key and uh, that's all. Now we can fill color. Okay, and uh, we are going to remove outline, right click. So here we have click on pick tool, press plus key and to make a copy press control key for straight alignment okay so we have two star if i want i can even change color this side or if we want we can fill same color the color in the blend will be changed automatically if you are going to apply the blend you need to select both object this star is selected press shift key and click on this star here both stars selected so here we have you can see that in drop down shadow under drop down we have here blend the third tool is blend once you will click on the blend tool blend tool is active now and uh, you can see here we have uh, different presets okay we can apply the first preset here that is a straight blend and eight object will be created in between this is what we can apply and if you want manually you can do it here you can click you can click inside this star and hold the mouse and just drag it to the other star once you will see this preview of the star and path you can just release the mouse so you can see that we have here three star in between and if we want we can increase and reduce the number of objects you can see here we have three if i want more five six seven so this is how we can increase the number of objects so blend is already applied the blend is selected if i will click on pick tool you can see that if i will select the first object blend will not work because blend is starting from this object first object and last object these are the real object and in between there is a blend so if i will click on this object coral draw will select only this last object so if i want to select the blend any object in between i need to click now blend is selected and you can see that we have here our blend controls uh, in our property bar here we can see that uh, this is direct blend straight blend okay and the next one is uh, a clockwise blend okay the color will be clockwise and you will see the result if i will click you can see that the color is changing from this side and from this side gradually if i will apply other one counterclockwise you can see that this way the color it goes opposite direction another thing here we have that is object and color acceleration so if i will click it and hold you can see that we have a two options objects and color and this is lock here okay if i will click and drag the object will move one side you can see if i will move left side in the blend the object will go to the left if i will click and drag to the right the object will go to the right and the color will be also changed but if you want you can do it independently with the object and colors you can separate them uh, if i will unlock let's bring it in the middle somewhere okay and if i will unlock this now independently we can change if i will click and drag now only the objects move to the left side and if i will change here now you can see that the color is changing so this how independently both options you can control so i will uh, leave it in the middle so click outside in your page this how we have another thing you can see that here we have split blend okay if i will click this any object i will click in the blend 
interactively coral draw will create two blend inside the main blend okay you can click it and you can see that from here our objects are split so if you click outside now and click on the blend you can see that only object until here they are selected so if I will move you can see it's affecting the other objects but now in the blend property we have two blend okay and if I will click this side you can see that it works this way in our two blend if I will select the object manually I can select this star you can see that and uh, from this side this is the last star okay and uh, in this side our blend this is the one if I will click I can select from this side and I can select it from this side manually let's go to the blend click on this blend here and if I want to bring it back to the straight blend I can go back again here and click on fuse end okay click on fuse end now we have one like before and you can see here and this option here is the rotation rotation of the object if I will give some angle the star will be rotated okay so let's type 20 and you can see that the rotation it's applied select the blend zero and now again the stars are in the default state here you can see when I will click on the blend this option it is disabled this is a loop blend it is disabled to activate this we need to apply first loop blend loop blend preset we need to apply come here you can see at the bottom here we have a loop blend okay so if I will click on loop blend objects will go in arc you can see that we have here down arc and if we want we can still change the direction of this we cannot use mirror tool that normally we are using for the object if I will click here and draw one object you can see that we have a mirror tool uh, we can use that for normal object let's draw one polygon here so you will understand let's say we have here now this object and if I will click on move tool and click on mirror you can see we can mirror up down but here mirror is not applicable so what we can do here we can change the angle here you can see that we have 90 degree if I want to bring it from up I can give here minus 90 okay minus 90 and press enter so you can see that now this is a loop blend if uh, I want I can change the colors I can go to here clockwise or maybe counterclockwise and you can see that the color goes this way now inside the blend if you want you can still change the color from the first object to the last object inside in between all the object will be changed accordingly so if I will click on this star and I will change the color here you can see that now the color goes this way and if I will click this side and select another color the color it started gradually from the left side and changing and going to the right from both side uh, different colors let's apply red here okay so this is loop blend anytime you want you can cancel the blend between two objects by clicking this button you can see that here clear blend okay so you can cancel the blend from here right now I'm not going to do so I'll just move it down here but uh, one thing more about the straight blend you can even change the object let me copy this blend here and I will bring it back you can see here if I want I can disable loop blend and now we have straight blend here okay I will just keep it here to show you we have here in degree you can see that it is a minus 90 if I want I can make it zero the star becomes straight and if I will change the shape from one side it will also affect gradually this is default shape so we can change with the shape tool you can see that from these points we can change look at this now it is a polygon here but gradually it is changing to star and going this way because blend is applied okay so any changes you will make with two object first object and the last object it will affect the whole blend if I want I can bring it back again shape tool is selected I can make it more sharp spikes of the star so you can see that from this side it is this way and gradually it's going through the blend and uh, now here it's become the star let's bring back control Z undo okay so let's get started now the other one we are going to make a border so select it and keep it here outside 
So this shape here we have, we have predefined shape in Corel Draw. There is a lot of shapes. I will show you how you can import in your document. All what you have to do, you need to go to the text and here we have insert characters. The shortcut key is Control F11. If you will press Control F11 from the keyboard also, you can access this dialog box. I will just click it, insert characters. So you can see that here we have a insert character dialog box and you can see by default it is Arial. Okay. And previously I used these symbols. So it's appeared here. So if you want to bring some nice symbol, if you want to import in your page, you need to choose the categories. Here we have three categories commonly used in Corel Draw. I will click it and the font you need to change here. It will go down all the way. We have here three, four categories that we can use. You can see that the first one is Webdings. Okay. Second is Wingdings, Wingdings 2 and Wingdings 3. Okay. So if I will click on Webdings, so you can see that here we have a lot of symbols, predefined symbols and uh, you can just simply click and drag to bring inside your page and then you can scale it and if you want you can fill the color like this in your design you can use so i'm not going to take anything from here but there is a lot of symbols here you can just make experiment with that so we are going to choose that star that star is not uh, available in this web dings we need to go to the next here we have a wing dings you can see that here we have wingdings. There is a lot of symbols also. And uh, at the bottom we have here wingdings 3. You can find here a lot of arrows symbol in this. But I'm going to use this wingdings. So click it. So here we have different shapes. And you can see that here we have uh, star shapes. So this what is I applied. So I will just click and drag it here in the screen. It is too small. We can increase the size this way. So you can see that it is the same. So let me close this now. We can change the color of this. Any color you want, you can fill inside. And uh, there is an outline also if you want. I apply outline. If I will apply another outline. So we don't need outline here. Right click here to remove outline. And uh, our object is here. So that is the star. Now let's bring it to the corner of the page. In our coming lesson, more precisely, we will create border with a blend and then press plus key from the keyboard and bring it to the other side. Press control key to maintain the same alignment. We have uh, two objects here. Okay. Now we are going to select this by pressing shift key. Simply I will apply blend, click on the blend and you can see here we have preset, but in the symbols that you took from character, you might not be able to apply these controls from here. So manually we need to click and drag from one star to another. Once you will see this preview of the object, just release the mouse. Okay, left side I'm clicking and dragging, left side of the mouse. So once you have this thing, uh, now the blend is applied and here we can increase the number. Okay, maybe 10. So that is fine. Click on pick tool and uh, we have here blend. By pressing plus key we can copy this blend and bring it down here at the bottom of the page and press control key to maintain the same alignment and leave it here. Now if I want, I can blend from this object to this object also. So how to do that? Select this object, press shift key and select this object. Simply click on the blend. Click and drag straight and we have here three objects. Now if I want, I can apply from this side as well. While the blend is selected, I can click and drag from this side also. Okay, so from both sides it's applied. Here we are going to change the number of objects. So as many you want, you can add. Okay, I think uh, that is fine. We have seven and seven we can apply from this side. Click it and. Okay, that's fine. You can see that this how it's easy to create this type of border uh, by using blend. Now if I want, I can apply background also. Just double click on the rectangle tool. Okay, double click here and already rectangle is there. Corel Draw created rectangle with the page size. Now this rectangular shape is having outline. I can right click here and if I want to fill color inside, I can click on any color. You can see that the color has been filled and uh, if you want to make it lighter, this color, you can press control key and click on any light color. I can click on white, keep clicking, 
left click and you can see that the colors become light and any color if I want I can mix it even orange press control key and click on orange I will make it little bit bright okay so this is how beautiful border we created by using blend let's bring this object inside the way we have in our exercise okay because we move these objects so I think this object is not really straight anyway that is fine now we can bring this here and from the corner we can reduce okay so you can see guys here we have a text blend tool is written here and uh, let me show you how to do that this is not a blend tool actually it is a gradient color I fill in this text but I will show you how to manage that press plus key to make a copy of this text and let me fill simple color with that now we have a solid color if I want gradient interactive gradient we use in our previous lesson from here you can apply that click on this double arrow and interactive tool click on interactive tool and uh, second one first one is solid and second is gradient so click it okay once you will click it might not be active so click again so now you can see that we have here nice blend and there is a uh, two color you can see this color is blue and there is a small square here and that side also we have a small square and with the light blue whatever is selected this is selected and if I want I can change the color here and even here you can change let's make it uh, maybe red okay and uh, from this side it's fine but if you want you can still change it any color you want all right so click in the page that's fine okay guys that's all for now for the blend tool uh, try to practice these things still in our coming lesson we'll be learning more about blend tool guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you